In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus MgSO4, barium nitrate plus magnesium sulfate. First thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This equation, it's already balanced, so that's done. Next, we write the state for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble, so we're going to write Aq. This is going to dissolve, split apart into its ions. Magnesium sulfate, that's also soluble. Most sulfates are soluble. Put an Aq, another nitrate, Aq. We said that sulfates in general are soluble. Barium is a bit of an exception. So let's check this solubility table here. And we can see sulfates here. Most of them, that S means they're soluble. These two here and down here, that I means they're insoluble. And barium right here, this is barium. So barium sulfate is insoluble. It's an exception to our kind of general rule. So because it's insoluble, we're going to write an S after the barium sulfate in our equation. So we have a solid barium sulfate. When these two react, this will fall to the bottom of the test tube. This is a precipitation reaction. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll be the complete ionic equation. Barium, that's in group 2. We'll put a 2 plus for that. So barium, the barium ion, Ba2 plus. And I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't do that right now. We have two of these nitrate ions, and the nitrate ion always is one minus. So we have two NO3 minus ions, magnesium group two, two plus, sulfate, the whole thing, two minus. So we have Mg two plus, and then we have that sulfate ion. And these are our reactants in the net ionic equation. For the products, we said Mg two plus, the nitrate, that's one minus. So we'll have Mg 2 plus plus 2 nitrate ions. And then for the barium sulfate, it's a solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So that just stays together as BaSO4. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides. They haven't changed, so we're really not interested in them. Reactants and products. Here we have two nitrate ions in the reactants and in the products. Get rid of that. The magnesium ion, again, here in the products, get rid of that. What's left is our net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus MgSO4. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus magnesium sulfate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. They give us a net charge of 0, net charge of 0 in the products. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus magnesium sulfate. Thanks for watching.